when meeting someone new and you feel some kind of attraction especially when you're single and you're already looking for a while for someone and you think like yeah this this could be a nice person for me but then when looking at the person and visualizing getting intimate and your thoughts go yeah but then walk away in this video I will explain what I mean by this and why and also what I recommend you to do so let's dive into this like subscribe and share hi my name is Lot Fimrad in today's video I'm gonna talk about intimacy slash sexuality So coming back to what I said during the intro, you see that person, yeah, looks good, it's nice, uh, behaves in a nice way. Well, this could be this could be a nice life partner. And this is when you're single and you're looking and you're going from event to event, meeting people and hoping to meet someone that you can spend your free time with. But then when you start thinking about intimacy, like how would it be in bed? The moment there is a but, you know it's not the person for you. I would even say you're not ready to be with someone. At least not intimately. Why, you may ask? Well, if the connection is really there, it's just like this. You just go for it. You don't think about what if this, what if that, how will that, no, you, you just go. You go with the flow. I have done this. And every time I didn't do this, it didn't work out. But every time I did do this, it did work out. Then we may have broken up a year, two years, three years, four years later. But that's not the point. That's a different discussion. Or maybe I'll tackle the end of the video. Or in the next video. In the next video. The point is. You want to feel this. And when you feel this, intimacy is there already. Sexuality is just going by itself. There's no thinking. You should just get intimate, get more and more intimate, and then things start to happen without thinking. And yes, that's how sometimes a woman gets pregnant because there was zero thinking well I would say from one perspective if you really don't want children well then probably you already have that burned in so much in your system that you always have condom ready and if not then it's just meant to be as also for another video And if you have been following it for a while, you know that things happen for a good reason. Even if you cannot see it in the moment. Even if you cannot see it for the coming weeks, months, years, maybe even decades. But there is a good reason for everything. You just don't see it yet. Because you're up here and not down here. 
So when you have the yeah but regarding sexuality with your potential new partner, there is not that strong connection. There is no trust. Because when you trust, there are no limitations. Things just happen, but also things happen in harmony. There is harmony between the two of you. You may do things you've never done before or things you thought you didn't like before or actually didn't like them, but with this person suddenly it feels good. Why? Because you feel good with the person, because you trust the person, because you can be yourself. And when you're in that energy of being in the here and now, trusting yourself, from there trusting the person, because you can feel the person, then you're always safe. And when you're safe, you're also more likely to hear what your body wants. Both the yes and the no. And when you both have this, there will be no need for a no during intimacy or in general. Because you're connected and the right things happen because of that same frequency. If one of you is not in balance, then there will be no, stop, not now, maybe later, whatever things. Meaning there's no harmony. Remember I said, maybe you're not even ready to be in an intimate relationship? Well, when we have a strong feeling of no regarding certain things within intimacy, then there's a 99.999% chance that there is a wound causing you to say no to something, something you have experienced that you didn't like or something you have never experienced, you just think that it's going to be bad for you. And this can be certain sexual acts, this can be uh, maybe some kind of role play, um, being tied up or tying up the other. I personally thought it would be exciting to tie up a woman and fuck her. Yeah, back then that was what I was doing. And uh, mostly. So I did that with consent. But within a few minutes, I took off the handcuffs. I said, no. I want to feel you. I want to feel you wanting me. I want to feel you touching me. I want to feel you make love with me, not me just on top of you fucking you. And that was a precursor for what would come later. I did, however, after many years of resistance, allow someone to tie me up. And that was for me part of my lesson to learn to surrender. Trust. I trusted my girlfriend. And so, because I also trusted my intuition more, which is very important, so there was self-confidence from my side, especially related to I can feel if I can trust the person, if the situation is safe. And so I allowed it. I actually asked for it. After that, I never did it again because I didn't need it. 
because in that moment I learned to surrender and to receive. What you see in pornography, I would say it's a hundred percent crap. And if you came across this one video that's an exception, or maybe 10 videos out of the 10 billion videos that are out there, well, you're lucky. But the number is so small, I can, without any hesitation, say 100% of pornography is fake, is not realistic, has nothing to do with what you really want to experience. Yes, you can have some fantasies, but in the end, if you are watching this, then you're looking for connection. You're not looking for some role play acting. That's not your thing. You want to make love. You want to really be connected with the person to melt together, to feel safe, to make the other feel safe. To experience pleasure and give pleasure. To experience pleasure together at the same time. Not, okay, I'll pleasure you and then you'll pleasure me. That's not how it works. If pleasuring the other is not a pleasure for you, then maybe reconsider it. And so, there is a high chance that you have a wound because something happened to you. It may have happened to you physically or energetically, but it's something to dive into and to resolve it because it will set you free. It does not mean that you will have to do that specific thing. <clears throat> but if the rejection is so strong, the stronger the rejection, the bigger the wound. Because... I was never uh, hurt uh, during sex in a, in a way like sadomasochistic. But I say no to SM because it doesn't resonate with me. It's not a no! It's just like, not my cup of tea. I don't feel the need to dominate someone. I don't feel the need for somebody else to dominate me. I like harmony, equality. There's a difference between dominating and taking the lead in something. It's like at work, you can have a leader or a boss. The boss will be, is the dictator, the leader is the one that says, Let's go together. Let's walk together the path. And I, in my management roles, evolved from boss to leader. And they, it was never really just boss. For some people I was the boss. For many people I was the leader from young age already. Because that's in my nature. I like to have harmony. So if you have that strong resistance to something when it comes to intimacy, look at it. Even if you have no memory where it comes from, well, there are easy ways to do a session, to do a channeling, to... Yeah depending on what comes on your path, what is available, to figure out what's going on there. And again, it does not mean that you will have to do that thing or that you will have to love that thing. But I've experienced with several women that they would say no to something up front, not even knowing what it was, and later, like, oh, actually, I enjoy this. It's really nice. Can we do it again? And you're like, hmm? Huh? Yeah. 
But they only did it in the first place because they started to feel safe. And that same thing, another woman I was with didn't even say anything about it. It just happened naturally. And I also had a case that with a woman, first date something happened and the second date was like, oh, let's do it again. It was really nice. And it didn't work out because second date, she was all up here. And I was all up here. There was no harmony in that second day, so we should never have gotten intimate. It was more sexual urge that got us in bed and then the things didn't work out at all. For the first date, things just started happening. And that's also a thing. It's not because something happened once that it will always happen the same way again. In a good way or in a bad way. It's just like some people you meet just once. You have an amazing experience with them. You have a beautiful talk. You have a laugh. Whatever. And then you go your separate paths again. Not everyone that you connect with, resonate with, you need to stay in touch with and speak to every day or every week or whatever. No. Even in today's age where we have smartphones and we can talk to anyone, anywhere in the world, at any time. Some encounters are just there to be short and then to move on. And some encounters are there to be longer. And only a very small number of encounters are there to be for life. So... This was not a short video, but I hope you got the point. I hope you feel safe enough to actually consider looking into that resistance that you feel. And from there, experiencing more freedom. And of course, work on going from here down to here, be more here. So important. It will make your life so much easier when you're in here and not up there. I have several videos on the subject, so look at them. And if you need help, contact me. Message me directly or use the website I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe and share.